Hey Pantry, welcome back to another island tour video. Today, we're gonna to be exploring a beautiful and natural island with a cottage core aesthetic. If you're into the cottage core theme, I am sure you'll be able to take some inspiration from this wonderful island. As usual, I do stream on Twitch every Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday at 1 p.m. PST. If you like these videos, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and do not forget to hit that notification bell. Finally, I just wanted to say thank you everyone for the love and support. These videos give me so much joy and I hope it does for you as well. With that said, let's head to Azure Cove. All right, and we have arrived guys. We have arrived to Azure Cove. Um, this is Belle's a wonderful island. She's one of our community members. I'm so excited to meet her and it looks like she's already waiting for us at the entrance there. Wait, are those gifts? What? I didn't expect any gifts uh, today, guys. But um, before we get started, let's go ahead and let's take a look at her map here. Oh, man. I really love those little dots, uh, pathways, um, like leading up to the houses. I wonder what those look like in the actual island, but everything looks like very well dispersed. Overall, very clean map. I'm excited to see what's going on. As far as villagers goes, uh, she has here Deirdre, Ruby. Oh my gosh, Ruby. Ruby's a cute one. Uh, Lolly, Bam, Avery, uh, Cole, Dottie. Oh my gosh, how many bunny villagers does she have? That's amazing. Olivia, Marshall, of course, and uh, Kiki. I love Kiki. Kiki is such a great character uh, that was like basically inspired by Miyazaki films, I think. But uh, yeah, let's go ahead and get started here. Right off the bat, you definitely have like a very cozy feel. I love the use of the cedar trees and all the hyacinth flowers. Looks so good. Hi, welcome, yo. Belle, I'm so excited. Is this for me? I'm gonna, I assume this is for me. So I'm gonna go ahead and pick it up, uh, Pantry. I hope it is. I'd be kind of rude to pick things up. Oh my gosh. Does she, what are these? I wonder what these are. All right, let's just see. Uh, let's see what we have here. Ooh, that looks so cute. Oh my gosh, I absolutely adore what she gave us. This is so cute. It definitely matches with the whole aesthetic. Hipster. <laughs> oh my God, it's so cute. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna get on with the tour here. I really love the benches that she used for her entrance. It looks really good with the water fountain. Uh, very, very uh, pleasing on the eyes, especially with the cedar trees. And she even has a little music player here right next to her front entrance. I really love the custom designs that she's used on the floor. The uh, use of the bushes very sporadically looks really nice. And this bridge just uh, works really well with transitioning to the other side of the island. Oh, oh hi, Marshall. Hello. <laughs> oh, what a cute little picnic area just right next to this river. Oh, it looks so good. It looks so good. Oh, look at this bunny. I love, love their yards. Oh, this pattern though. Kind of gives that illusion of um, of having a stepping stone in front of the house, right? Not stepping stone, um, a patio. This looks great. I really love the use of terraforming over here. This looks amazing. Um, just very subtle, but it's good. I'll have to find out what some of these uh, custom designs are for you guys. Don't feed the... Oh, wait, what? There... What? There's bears? I wasn't told that there was bears on this tour. What? <laughs> oh, this is such a cute little rest area. The houses are very nice, like neatly uh, spaced and uh, everyone has kind of like a flower garden of their own, right? Oh, there's the Lily of the Valleys. This is a five-star island, by the way. Uh, really love the statue here on the cliffside as you walk up there and there's a teddy bear on the other side. Oh, those are the bears. Don't feed the bears pantry. <laughs> oh, oh, I love this. This is so adorable. A very woodsy feel, foresty kind of feel. Um, cedar trees seem to be the main main thing here for our island. Oh, what a gorgeous waterfall. Oh, there's some jumping stones too. <laughs> All right, we're gonna go ahead and hop across the puzzle here. Oh, we're jumping puzzle here. Oh, we're, oh dude, th something about like just hopping across right next to a waterfall just feels so, 
so fun. I just I just love the look at this. Oh, this diagonal path with the uh, with the wooden custom patterns here. This is so gorgeous. So gorgeous. Leading up to the campsite. Oh, what a nice little tucked up corner here with for the campsite. Also has a beautiful, beautiful view right above it too. This is so nice. Wow, this is so beautiful. What so far guys, what is your favorite thing about uh, this island so far? Honestly, for me, the use of the waterfalls and um, just the, uh, the the background view. And here we are walking through this orchard. Oh, Sahara is here. Oh, there's a rock here. I didn't even notice it. Oh, wow. This is so, so nice. A little... Um... Oh, Sahara is also getting sleepy just because it's so comfy. Oh, man. Oh, I don't know if my character can sit here. Uh, maybe. Nope, it won't decide. It won't sit there, unfortunately. <laughs> oh well, that's okay. It's, this is such a nice little area. Oh no, that's okay, honey. Oh, just the bow. She's so sweet. Uh, looks like we're walking up towards some sort of music playing area. <gasps> this is so neat. What a great idea. Oh, all right. You guys know what to do, right? Pantry, you know what's up. Don't believe me, just watch. <laughs> Such a nice little seaside kind of kind of instrumental area for like a concert maybe you can have guests sitting there and uh, we can uh, we can uh, throw it down you know oh hi villagers <laughs> but yeah I love this orchard I don't have an orchard on my island but um, I'm trying to incorporate somehow and the way this path leads up to this next area is so beautiful I love how subtle this incline is. And this little garden here. Very nice. Ooh, what tree is this? I've never seen this tree before. This is so nice. I uh, And honestly, it takes skill to use all these custom patterns that they have on the ground. Like, you can make it look very messy. But, like, this all looks very pur purposeful, you know? I did ask Belle a couple questions. The first question was, tell us a bit about yourself. She said, my name is Belle, and I live all the way over in a little kingdom known as Denmark. New Horizons is my first Animal Crossing game, and it came out right as I was looking for a getaway for my lockdown situation. I just fell in love with it right away, and I've played it for hours every day since I bought this game. My follow-up question was, what is the theme of your island, and what was your inspiration? She said, I originally wanted to do a forest paradise because I live in a forest in real life. But unfortunately, there's a limit to trees if you want a five-star island. So I had to change it up a little bit. I went for some forestry areas and then some more open areas with lots of flowers to get that garden feel. I tried to keep it more old school with a cottage core aesthetic and lots of natural areas inspired by my own home. Next, I asked her, what did you find the hardest part of your island was to create? She said, the hardest part to make was the entrance where I went with a forest feel. I knew I wanted to have small secret areas, but it was hard to make the area feel like a forest without going over the tree limit, and to keep the area dense even with the secret spots. The museum island also pulled a little sweat, which is the only area I really did a lot of terraforming on. I love that she has everywhere, you know, just places to sit and uh, all that stuff. It's great. And that bear, big old bear back there, guys. We gotta be careful. Oh, this is pretty. I love the use of the arch here. With the cedar tree and that statue back there looks nice. Oh, this must be one of the houses. Oh, this is gorgeous. All right, so we're going to go in this house. I actually don't know which house this one is. Oh, wow. It's the spa. It's the spa area. Oh, man. Look at that crazy design on the ground, guys. Oh, it's like you're stepping up onto another level here. And you're going to... I hope I get to lay down. Oh man, let's just fall asleep. Let's just fall asleep, pantry. This is so relaxing, especially with the waterfall there in the background, uh, or the rainforest. Yeah, it's a spa. Oop, whoops. Uh, it's a spa. I love the the zen uh, type of vibe going on here. 
she purposely didn't upgrade it to like her the house, right? So it stayed as a one uh, one bedroom kind of thing, which is very nice. I know a lot of people want to upgrade the house because they want to change the exterior, but uh, that worked out really well. <laughs> the bear. Oh, that's so funny. I love it. Oh, what area is this? Oh, whoa. Oh, whoops. I'm going to drown. <laughs> that's meant to be like a uh, lily, lily pond, like lily pad pond area. This is so nice. What a cute little pattern. I love this. Don't kill the fish. Oh, no. Oh, wait. Oh, yeah, that's true. We don't want to uh, we don't want to actually step on the fishes. <laughs> I feel like if we were to step in there, we would have probably fallen in the water. Uh, looks like Nook's uh, cranny's right back there. And here we are. We're arriving at another another house here. I wonder what's in that one. Really love love how everything is placed here. There's not a lot of levels, but the the terraforming is just so well done, right? Oh wait, what is this area? Ooh, it's a it's an office of sorts. Am I in trouble? Am I in trouble? I'm not. I'm not entirely too sure. Wait, what is this? Let me see here. It is. Oh wait, is this supposed to be? Oh, it's a library. Okay, okay. She might have wanted this to be an arcade at one point, but uh, ended up turning into a library. This is so nice. I know the skeleton. Oh no. <laughs> All right. So we're that was the library, guys. Very cute. Very cute. Again, pathing is just so so immaculate. I love it. And then this is Nook's crannies here. Oh man, this looks so beautiful, right? All the green, all the flowers. Oh man. Nook's uh Timmy and Tommy. Got it made here. I would love to stay here too. Oh my god, there's another bear. Ah! <laughs> it's a big bear this time. <laughs> Oh, we're coming up to some very relaxing music. All right, so we... Oh, oh, wow. This is... This is so nice. It's a cafe, guys. I love, love, love the pattern on the ground for this. This is absolutely adorable. Absolutely adorable. It's so elegant. I don't know if that's a word to describe this, but it is so elegant. If you guys also didn't know that you can use the hats uh, and put a custom pattern on it to make it look like plates of cakes on there. A little sand castle, a little little beach ball, watermelon beach ball. <laughs> this is so, so cute. I really love this um, little uh, picnic pattern here that's on the ground. <gasps> oh no, I hope she, ha she had caught whatever that beetle is. Oh, whoa, this is so nice. This is absolutely gorgeous. It's such a nice use of space too, right? Like for me, I probably wouldn't have known what to do with this area right here, but she's just so, so talented in using all these space so uh, well. Oh, it's, <laughs> there's a picture of our favorite bug catcher here. Flick. Oh, wow. I have never seen this perspective before. This is actually a really nice perspective. I've always seen them look to the left, the right, or, you know, up north. I've just never seen them use uh, facing the camera before. I I love the use of the display of clothes here. Gives, gives each and every one of us, like, a chance to see what's in store, right? Oh, my God. Is this a beehive? Oh, wow. That beehive statue just gives you gives me the the chills. I'm not a huge insect fan. I'm basically blathers. So, oh my god, they're everywhere! Oh, it's a bear! It's a bear! Oh no! <laughs> Protect us, Bell. Take us away. Oh, it looks like we have a greenhouse right over here. How neat! Oh, this is nice. I love the patterns on the simple panel. It gives it that uh, that win glass window kind of look to it. And uh, we are back at uh, this other house. I'm not sure what house this is. Oh, wow. This is so pretty. And I love when creators put waterfalls right next to bridges. It just creates such a nice, nice uh, view. 
Oh, I like that so much. This is such a nice garden area. Oh, this is adorable. Uh, it's okay, hun. I love this. This is so nice. Okay, I'm just gonna walk over here. I don't know if we can. Nope. But uh, yeah, again, the lily of the valleys. What a great little view. Oh, man. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and head back here. We might be heading into the house. I And I think this is her house. So let's just see, uh, let's just see what's going on here. Okay, guys? Pretty sure this is her house. This is one of my favorite exteriors too. That cobblestone kind of, kind of look for the exterior. It looks very nice, especially with cottage core vibes. Oh, oh, it's our friend Tortoise. It's our friend Tortoise. Oh, this is so, so charming. My turtle, Snap. Oh, hi, Snap. Hi, Snap. You're so, so cute. I love the uh, the paintings on the, the walls as well. Um, I can tell that she really likes, like, insects and uh, birds and stuff like that. So that's very nice. Oh, wow. Absolute gorgeous kitchen. It's so cozy, too. I love... Oh, wow. That is so pretty. Those uh, roses on the wall, the flower stuff on the wall, looks so nice. Oh, 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 okay. I have to get out from this side here. <laughs> and there's a dog bowl. Do we have, do we have a pet somewhere? Oh, maybe it's for, it's for, uh, it's for her tur uh, turtle. Oh, shit. I forgot the tur turtle, turtle's name. I feel bad. I think it was Sam. My turtle snap. Oh, hi, snap. And this looks like it is uh, the bathroom. Oh no! Oh shoot! I didn't mean to. Oh doink! <laughs> I didn't mean to come in here. All right, I might as well shower. We got. We should probably turn off the water since there's no, <laughs> there's no drain right there. Oh wow! Wow! Oh, I've never have. Have you guys seen those hanging terrarium things before? Not the not the triangular one, but the ones in the pots. This looks so nice. It's a little office with uh, some plants and fossils. Oh, this is so great. That's a green greenhouse kind of vibe to it, but it looks really neat. Kind of also feels like uh, you know those extension rooms that you would have like on some of the older homes, uh, where you put like plants and uh, uh, stuff. All right, downstairs. We're going to make our way downstairs here. Very nicely themed home. Oh, wow. Little crafting room, possibly? I think this might be a crafting room. Look at this. Oh, this is so neat. We can do some sewing over here. Oh, this little machine, this uh, crocheting machine over here is so nice. It's one of my favorite things. But uh, well decorated with the arts on the walls. And you can play some chess. Oh, this is neat. Oh, and she has all the plaques from uh, the um, the H H H A. Oh, this is her master bedroom. Oh wow, this is neat. I always forget to turn. There it is. I always forget to turn the camera to face the doorway wall. But uh, I love. <laughs> she she's writing. She's writing our next novel. Maybe she's writing our script for us. But this. Oh my god, this fireplace is so cute, especially with the snow globe. But can you interact with the snow globe? Oh, oh, whoa, you can. Oh, that's so cute. Oh man, I love her furniture. This is such a nice room. Here, I'm gonna go ahead and just pan around the room here again for you guys, just so you guys can see what's uh what's going on here. Really love the furniture. So nice. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and go downstairs, and that's that's basically the that's the house. Oh, that was great. Bell, that was so good. That's so good. And yeah, that's that's basically the house, guys. And that every room had a purpose. It really felt like a an actual house, right? There was a kitchen, there was a bedroom, there was a downstairs with like a purposeful sewing crafting room. It, it had it had all the all the stuff that would make a wonderful home feel uh, homey. So, and we have a little bonfire here, right on the side of the beaches, or the beach. And uh, I haven't seen uh, the log log fences uh, used that way. Oh wow, this is so adorable. 
Oh, wait, is that a shark? <gasps> oh, wait, I guess technically she's in June right now. With the time of filming this. Oh, this is nice. That's a shark, guys. <gasps> is it? I've never... I don't know. But what a great use of her peninsula here with the... With the, uh... With the lighthouse. Pineapple trees. <laughs> She really did this that way. She really just did that. <laughs> if you guys didn't know, I call those coconut trees pineapple trees in one of our videos there. Oh my gosh, look at these cute turtle turtle patterns. Wow, I've never seen these. Oh, they're so adorable. That is so cute. They actually look like tortoises. Wow. Oh, where are those? Oh, those must be the new um, new seashells that you can get uh, by the seashore. <laughs> oh, wow. Very cute. I love it. Okay, so we're going to head back onto the mainland here. And um, I think this... Oh, wow. This is, this is so nice. It's a cafe area again. We're just going to drink our little tea here as we enjoy this majestic piano play from Belle. I think this is the cafe. I'm pretty sure this is the house where they uh, where they made the cafe. So let's just see. So far, I'm enjoying Azure Cove so much. Yes. Oh, oh God. It's, I don't want the, I don't want the roach incident to happen again. Watch, watch your steps, guys. Watch your steps. We don't want that to happen again. <laughs> Whoa, wait, what? I am. I am so sorry. I didn't know that was going to happen. <laughs> oh my gosh. All right. I think that might be the last house. Not entirely sure, but what a cute section here. What an adorable section. And here we are back to the middle of the island. Oh gosh, there's another bear. There's bears everywhere on this island. <laughs> oh god, there's a big bear on the other side. Oh, um, yes. Yeah. <laughs> That Evo is awesome! Finally, I asked her, Is there anything you would like to say to everyone to motivate them to work on their island? She said, Don't be discouraged by other people's islands. Remember that when you started a project, it was because you liked it. And that's really the most important. The game is not a competition. There's no end goal. It's there for you to have fun with. And you should take your time and enjoy it. Trial and error is okay. It's okay to have many themes on your island. The island is for you and no one else. Do what feels right for you. And finally, take inspiration from others and the things you like. Well, thank you so much, Belle, for the grand tour of Azure Cove. And that is it. I hope you all enjoyed Belle's Island as much as I did. It was such a pleasure touring this natural looking island. To follow more of Belle's journey, I will be posting her socials in the description down below. As always, please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and do not forget to hit that notification bell. Also, please join me and my wonderful community on Twitch every Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday at 1pm PST. I'll go ahead and leave a link in the description down below. I love you pantry, and I'll see you next time.